My name is Dale Vince. I'm the founder of Ecotricity. I've set myself a challenge. I'm going to build a wind-powered car. It'll be an electric car charged from the wind, so there's zero emissions from it. I want to build a sports car, out-and-out -out sports car. That's the challenge, a wind-powered car. Trevor's making all these patterns to Jim's drawings. He's making sure they fit where we want them to fit, and then he'll be able to make moulds and make components. They will be made to look like finished components. So you can see they've got flanges on and holes for where the, they're going to be mounted on. But the actual components we want will just be the hollow duct. This project is, is different to our normal projects. With this, we're always having to ask questions and investigate. It's a crossing over of different technologies, industrial electronics and electrical engineering with automotive engineering. Jim and Ian are both very keen to get the weight distribution right of the vehicle. Um, I have to put my, my bit in to say, well, certain, certain components have to be close to other components. So we have, in certain cases, um, contradictory uh, requirements. So all the electronic equipment, all, yes. all the hall sensors and the fuses, they're all industrial pieces. They look like ceramic pieces you bolt to an electric pole. Yes. Or a transformer off a substation. Yeah, that's right. And they all weigh like transformers. Yeah. yeah they, they've not had the automotive input or a aeronautic input. Exactly. To lighten everything. And this is the contactor, which is rather a nice piece of kit. It's quite small, but can handle 500 amps at 1200 volts. So quite a, a mean piece of kit. Every time a new part from Tim arrives, you think, crikey. Oh, where are we going to put this? <laughs> well, there's probably enough room, but it's just <clears throat> uh, just a bulky... It's not even lightweight computer stuff, is no. it? It's heavy, heavy ceramic well, he, 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 stuff. he introduced us to a, an EMI filter the other day, which is about that long and about that thing. And that, oh, that looks OK. And then you find out it weighs four and a half kilograms. And there's two of them. We're trying to push weight further forward, so we're going to take things like the DC to DC converter and the charger and push those up to the front. With, with luck, it won't compromise our acceleration performance too much. And if we can keep the weight distribution forward, it won't compromise our handling too much. We're doing a lot of work. It's uh, very often repeated work as we find something further down the line that's having a knock-on effect and we've got to redo something we've done before. It's little things that hold up the deadlines. Perhaps something half a millimetre different to what you were expecting it to be and you have to go back and adjust everything to account for it. You know, you may just put another insert in the carbon fibre component. It's got to be cut, profile, ready. There's a hundred little aluminium inserts in it because every way you're going to put a bolt in you have to have something for it to be threaded into. There's a huge amount of little pieces being made all over the place, especially for the composite part. For me as a project manager, it's frustrating because we're, we're slipping. A lot of the design work is nearly finished. You can see that the actual final build work hasn't really started. So we're in the middle of the project in that respect. The engineering for the electrical system that um, that Tim's doing. He's got his battery management system, you've seen some of the parts, you know, he's making good progress with that. The vehicle system computer, he's been getting components made, um, but he's got to program all that. The problem is the time. Um, there is a huge amount to do. There is no programmer in the world that's done serious programming that doesn't bash his head against the wall from time to time. There are going to be those occasions. I've had them before, and they will happen again. You know, I'm confident with the chassis mods and the uh, package and everything. It's, the unknown is the battery management system and the computer side of things. That's the new technology that needs proving. It is the bit which a lot of the, the new development stuff needs to go into. So, yeah, yeah there, there, there is a bit of pressure there. And things are moving slowly. They are moving forward, but it's, it is a, a torturous... Uh, route, but we're getting there. Yeah, but as a whole, you've got to get all of it to go together. As a whole, making it all work together is quite a task. So the next big milestone, I think, is to have the whole car assembled powertrain-wise so that we can get Tim in it with his laptop 
and make it go forwards and backwards. I'm confident that we can do it. I'm confident that I can do it. I want to see this car moving and I want to see it as a good technologically advanced vehicle that can show other people um, that electric vehicles really have arrived. Thank you.